have to say that I actually did not want to write the book when Howard came to me with this great idea, even though originally it was my idea, and he's like, I think we should write this book together, and I was like, no way, that's the stupidest idea I've ever heard. We were having this fight that lasted about uh, a week, which felt like three weeks, and finally at the end of it, when we were sort of making up, she said, oh my God, it's, it's true. It's like women are crazy and men are stupid. And it was like this light bulb went off in my head, and I, I felt like everything I'd ever not understood, I finally understood. Yeah. I think it starts with men being a little less stupid would kind of like lead to women being a little bit less crazy. Because in the beginning, like, I had no problem being like, Howard's stupid, guys are stupid, all my female friends, all we talk about is how men are stupid. But then, like, the part of where I had to admit that I was crazy was a little bit tough for me because it's just, I just didn't know if I wanted to go there. But then I was like, oh, but women are crazy because men are stupid. And then it all came together for me right. very quickly. <laughs> I was like, I can write this book now. We always were specific in the book. One of the rules we had when we were writing it was you can't write it, you can't write a theory unless you have an actual experience to back it up. And so this is, we were pretty open in this book and embarrassingly so at some points. What I realized was the more open we were, the more, the funnier it was and the more people related to it. And I want people to feel like, hey, it's not just us. This is like, hey, men sort of think this way, women think this way, and it's almost impossible um, to sort of ever quite meet at the right place. Stupid's probably forever when it comes to men, but they do have a learning process because recently uh, we were at Howard's parents' 50th uh, wedding anniversary and they had a brunch. His parents had a brunch the next day and he was getting me a piece of cake. And he had two pieces of cake. One was really big and one was really messy and ugly. The piece. But smaller. But smaller. And so he was totally like poised in front of a whole crowd of people trying to decide like, do I want her to feel fat that she eats a big piece of cake? Or do I want to give her the ugly one? So, so he's actually like thinking in advance, like what's going to piss her off, what's not going to piss right, her off. Right, exactly. Because there, <laughs> there were like relatives on each side, and I'm like, do I hand her the, the oversized piece or the ugly piece? Yeah, he handed me the ugly piece at first. I'm like, what are you doing? I don't want the ugly piece. But that the shows I'm a, girl. A, a learning curve. Yes, that does. I was like, he had the ability to learn. There was a spark, the light bulb. Yeah, no, definitely no, there's uh, definitely, definitely. So that was Men good. have an ability to learn. Yeah, slowly, very slowly. <laughs> You know, the process of writing the book, I think we learned a lot. <laughs> we, I mean, it was painful sometimes, and I want people to feel like, hey, it's not just us. This is like, hey, men sort of think this way, women think this way, and it's almost impossible um, to sort of ever quite meet at the right place. But if we understand everybody just a little bit more, right. you know, just, you know, I guess what it is, is I guess we're, we're thinking, that if, if a man could be just a little less stupid and a woman could be just a little less crazy, the world could be a, you know, a better place. Yeah.